back to the channel. We're here for another fabulous episode of our crafting video for Wednesday. And if you are my current subscribers, hello, I hope you are doing well. And if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all of our fabulous crafts or, you know, random crafts and random blog videos. If you haven't already seen some of my other ones on the channel, but check them out because we do have a little bit of fun. So anyways, getting into today's video, we are going to be doing a lovely little video. I'm going to be doing a lovely little birdhouse. Now I did try to make this a little witchy themed and I think I'm still going to add some stuff to it. But for the most part, this is what we are doing. This part is what we are doing in this video. So, and it's still, it's still a slight work in progress because I want to add more details to it. I just don't know what I want. <laughs> so I hate that when you make something and you're like, I could add something else to this. What is that going to be? I don't, I don't know what that's going to be. But anyways, I will go ahead and cut to the video on how we made this. And this is a new way of me making the craft videos that I hope is going to be a little bit better than I have been in the past. And if you like this, let's let me know down in the comments if you like the way I did, like the voiceover and the video cuts and stuff. So instead of just playing like the whole video and fast forwarding through parts, just, just let me know which one you would prefer. But um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and cut to the videos on that and meet y'all back at the end. Okay, so here we are making our birdhouse. Um, well, not making our birdhouse. We already have our birdhouse. I got mine from Michael's, and I got it because it kind of looks like a little pagoda, and I thought it was really, really cute. So I'm just showing y'all in this little clip that I got my birdhouse that we're going to be using. I got my malls that I'm pretty sure y'all have seen in some other craft videos and stuff that I have done. Um, and it's just basic. I think it's just preserved moss that you can get. I got mine from my local Dollar Tree. Um, I think you can get some from Michael's and stuff. And then uh, I'm showing you my little birdhouse that I got. It's really cute. Like I said, I thought it looked like kind of like a little pagoda. I don't know. I just thought it was really, really adorable. Plus, it, I think it was on sale as well. I will leave, if it's still on their website, I will leave the link for it down below. And it already comes with like the little hanger that I can use. So I don't have to worry about attaching one of those. And let's see, the next thing that we're going to be using is some acrylic paint. I have a white acrylic paint, and I think it's like a yellow-brown acrylic paint. This is just in a set that I had bought from Walmart, and I'm pretty sure, I think I said, uh, y'all have seen those in some of my painting pour videos. So it come out of that set. Those are the two that I will be using throughout this video. And then I have a little popsicle stick that I actually went ahead and cut the ends off of. And I'm going to be using that to make like a little sign for my birdhouse. Just because I thought that would be a really cute idea. And of course you're going to need your handy dandy hot glue gun to attach everything to your birdhouse. I've had mine on the side heating up already. So go ahead and have that going. And then you are going to need some stones. These are just some decorative stones that I think I picked up from my local Dollar Tree again. Um, you can pretty much get these anywhere. I've been using these for a lot of projects. Um, then you're going to need a paintbrush as well. Again, I have a bunch of these like little foam paintbrushes. I have all those hanging around. So what we're going to be doing first is taking our brown paint. And we're going to paint the bottom of our birdhouse and we're going to paint the top of our birdhouse that color. And I'm going to do a rough paint on that because it doesn't really matter if it's going to be good. And I've also went ahead and put something down. So whenever I do paint, it doesn't get like on my doesn't get on my uh da -da 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 -da. doesn't get on my mat and stuff. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom and the top of the birdhouse in this like brownish color just because I don't want the that light color natural wood coming through so that is what we are going to be doing
Okay, so now since we have the top and the bottom painted with our brown paint, we are going to be working on the sides with the white colored paint. So I'm just going to take that and pop it open, put me some on my little sheet that I have. There we go, put it on the little sheet that I have. And I'm just going to start, yep, I'm just going to start spreading it on the sides. Now, like I said, I'm going to do, I'm kind of going to do this a little bit thick, but at the same time, I'm going to do like a rough kind of, kind of dry paint because I want it tinted, but I don't want it, you know, like fully neon kind of white color. So I want you to still be able to see some of the natural wood, but not completely. So I'm just going to sit here and just paint over all that. And I'm even going to paint the little, um, the little resting pose for our birds and Yep, just go around the sides with that. Okay, so now that we have our birdhouse painted the desired way that we want to, we're just going to take our decorative stones. As you can tell, I'm just grabbing like a handful, and they're all different sizes and everything. And I'm going to be paint, or I'm going to be gluing them around the base of my around my birdhouse. I'm going to try and do them two rows wide, or you know, like two stones wide. But I'm just going to kind of lay them out, and then take a hefty amount of hot glue, which I'm trying to try to work on here but I want to make sure it's nice and hot but you want to take a hefty amount of hot glue and just dab it on there like so and then you want to place your stone and make sure you be careful because obviously hot glue is hot you don't want it sticking to your fingers and then you just continue around and put a few more big globs of hot glue and place your stones so I'll continue to do this all the way around the base of my birdhouse to my desired height. Like I said, I'm only going to do like two rows high because I don't want it completely covered in stone, but I do want to give it at least kind of like that cottagey kind of witchy feel. You know, if you stumbled upon like the old cottage in the woods, that's what I kind of want to give it. So I'm just going to do that and yeah. So as you can tell, I just finished putting my two rows of stone around my birdhouse. I'm just going to give you all a quick little view of what it ended up being. And it doesn't matter if your hot glue shows through because in the next few steps, we're going to probably take care of that little fact. Plus for me, you know, it doesn't have to be all neat and perfect or anything. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and make sure everything is dry. And then we're going to grab our moss. And let me open mine and pull it out. Now this does make a mess, so that's another reason why I have something down aside from the paint made a mess, that the moss makes a huge mess. But you just want to grab a good chunk of your decorative moss, put a hefty amount of hot glue on the roof of your birdhouse, and you just want to carefully place it onto your roof of your birdhouse. Making sure not to get your hands in the hot glue because you will burn yourself. I have done this numerous times. And let me tell you, blisters on your fingers do not feel fun. <laughs> they are not fun whatsoever. So we're just going to go around the entirety of the roof of the birdhouse with the decorative moss. And then once we get done with the roof, or once you get done with the roof to your desired effect, then you can move on to our next step.
so as you can tell, I covered the entire top of my birdhouse with my moss. And I did leave a little bit of it hanging down just because I thought that would be a really cute, like, added feel that, you know, how the moss is hanging over the actual, like, house. So our next step that we're going to do is we're going to take the moss and we're going to go around the bottom of our birdhouse. Because I wanted the bottom covered because I just thought that would give it another kind of, like, in the earth kind of cottagey feel. So just take a good hefty amount of your hot glue like we've been doing and just go around the top where your stone line is and like the sides of your of your little birdhouse down there at the bottom. And just make sure again to be extra extremely careful because you don't want to get your fingers caught in the hot glue like I did at that moment. And two, what I wanted to do is try to stay below my stone line because I didn't want my stones completely covered in the moss. So I'm just kind of like packing it in there really good and pressing it in to make sure it actually stays like at that little rock line. So I'm just going to go around the entirety of my birdhouse. Now I didn't worry about the very, very bottom of the birdhouse. I just went around the sides of the birdhouse as you can tell. And see like how I have a big open spot right there as well. And in some of the other spots I have, I think around the sides of the birdhouse, I just went ahead and just took like little balls of the moss and just kind of like packed it in there to give it kind of more of that overgrown mossy in the earth kind of cottagey feel and I just went around these sides and I think on one side as you'll see um, in a later video that I went ahead and did like some moss coming up the side of the birdhouse so yeah just decorate it pretty much how you want to and how you feel is going to be for your overall effect. Okay, so we got the bottom of our birdhouse done, and as you can tell, see how I did the moss kind of going up the side of the birdhouse, just because I thought that gave it kind of a cute little, cute little something extra. I don't know, I thought it was adorable at the time, so I just kind of went around the entire, and I had some of the moss, again, looked like it was coming up through the stone, just to give it more of that earthy kind of feel. So now, once I got all that done, I'm going to actually take my little popsicle stick that we cut off the ends and as you can tell I drew out or I wrote out blessed be on it so I thought again since I kind of wanted like a little witchy cottage that would be really cute to put on there as a little sign and I decided to use my wood burning tool to actually put the letters on there this is completely optional for you you don't have to you can paint them on there but since I had my wood burning tool on hand I figured it would last longer and be a bit more I don't know I just like the more rustic look of the wood burning tool. So I'm going to sit here and do that for you guys. So as you can see, I finished doing my wood burning on my little pipe and I'm trying to get some of my excess all for. I did kind of mess up my lettering, so I'm just trying to, plus I figured if I smudged it out some too, it might make it look a bit more kind of, you know, not so new sign, but there we go. There's the finished product of me burning it in. Yeah, I know not the best in the world, but like I said, it was just, it was another little fun thing because I was originally going to paint it in. But I decided to do my wood burning tool and I'm still working on my script with my wood burning tool. So it's not that fancy. But now we're just going to glue it on our birdhouse. And I didn't want to glue it on there like perfectly even. But I did kind of want it a little bit even. But I think there we have it. Just let it sit there for a minute and press it in. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And get off all the excess little strings from the hot glue. But... That is pretty much our finished product for our birdhouse. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I still think I should add something else to it, but I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. But for the most part, it is pretty much done. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our kind of springy little witchy cottage for your birds and stuff. You know, I'm trying to do a few more like spring and summer activities since it's getting so pretty outside and I want to have more more stuff outside for the birds and the bees and my, my little hummingbirds and well, birds are hummingbirds. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm still I'm still fighting a sinus infection, so yeah, just just ignore just ignore that little rant there. But um 
Anyways, and if you've already made like your own little witchy kind of, you know, birdhouse, there we go. I, I was about to say bird feeder. Ugh, like I said, I'm still, I'm still struggling, guys. But um, yeah, if you already made one, let me know down in the comments. And if you have like a video or if you have something on Instagram or Facebook. And I'd love to see it. See what y'all come up with. And we can we can chat and share ideas. And maybe I can pull some ideas from you guys. To figure out what else I can put on my birdhouse. Because I like it. I just think it could use something a bit more. <laughs> so that's why I'm still kind of. It's still kind of in my art room. And I haven't put it outside yet. Because I still got to seal it and all that. But um, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this craft video. Like I said. Just let me know down below. Whether or not you like the video style that I did. With like the voiceovers and the stream cuts and all that. Because I'm trying trying to make it a bit more. A bit more involved I guess. Or you know make the videos not as long. So you can see what I'm doing. And I tell you what I'm doing. Without you actually having to sit there. And watch every little bit that I'm doing because I know sometimes I fast forward through craft videos that are like that. So I'm trying to I'm trying to work on that for you guys. But um, so yeah. And if you haven't already seen like my bee bath, which is where some of these stones come from, then go check that out because I thought that's a very fun, you know, fun kind of summer spring craft. Plus you can get everybody involved with that. So I hope y'all have a fabulous rest of the week. I'm going to stop rambling on. And I will see y'all in the next craft videos. Thank you so much, lovelies. Bye.